Yes. So we were revising lines and angles. Uh, try these were going on. Page number one zero nine. And uh, let us do its second part. First part we have finished. Second part. We are given two lines A and B. which are parallel to one another and there is a line c which works as transversal this is 55 degree and this is y and we need to find the value of y we are given that a is parallel to b line a it is given to parallel to b so you will write here a parallel to b c I told you when it is like Z is formed like this, then it is a matter of alternate interior angles. See, this 55 and this Y, they are forming alternate interior angles. So you will write here, Y is equal to 55 degree, alternate interior angles. In case of parallel lines, alternate interior angles are equal. So according to that, Y comes out to be 55 degree. Next question, third part. In the third part, it is given that L1 and L2, they are the two lines and there is a transversal T. There is a transversal T and uh, here are angle one and angle two. Now it is given that L1, L2 are any lines and we have to tell whether angle one is equal to angle two or not. Angle 1 equal to angle 2 or not. C. Uh, these are alternate interior angles, therefore they are equal. Shub, do you go with the same uh, justification? Yes, ma'am. 1 is equal to 2? Or not yes. one is equal to two. Yes, sure. Yes, ma'am. Reason here. And because they are alternate interior angles. As they are alternate interior angles, therefore they are equal. Are missing? Do you agree with Shuk? Ma'am, no, they are not equal as alternate interior angles are always equal in parallel lines and they are not parallel lines. Very good, very good. 100% credit goes to Harmeet Singh for this very right answer. You should see L1 and L2 are not parallel lines. Alternate interior angles are equal only in case of parallel lines. Aya Yad? Yes, ma'am. Right here. One is not equal to two. S is not parallel to L2. Alternate interior angles are equal equal to the lines. Alternate interior angles are equal honge only when the lines are parallel. When the lines are not parallel, you can't say that the alternate interior angles are equal. Shib, I hope that you understood your mistake. Yes, ma'am. Chali. Let us start with the next part. Bache, Har Armeet Singh, mute yourself now. Some voice is coming from your side and it is disturbing. Yes, fourth part. Fourth part is, there are two parallel lines, L and M, and tree, T is transversal. T is transversal. This is 60 degree, this is it. Now it is given that L and M, they are parallel. Abhi is bar hame parallel lines di And using the concept of parallel lines, we need to find the angle Z. 
हमें z की वैल्यू जो है वो फाइंड करनी है सो आई टोल्ड यू वेन द शेप इज लाइक एंगल्स आर इन द शेप ऑफ लाइक एल बोथ आर इंटीरियर ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसवर्सल दे आर फॉर्मिंग इंटीरियर एंगल्स ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसवर्सल हाँ जी राज आर्यन इंटीरियर एंगल्स ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसफर्सल भवेश फर्स्ट बेंच दे आर नोन एस किसी को याद नहीं है ट्रेन वाला एग्जांपल कि ट्रेन में हमारे साथ जो बैठा होता है वो को पैसेंजर होता है पैसेंजर होता है हमारा मैम कॉरेस्पोंडिंग कोई सेम कॉरेस्पोंडिंग मैम नो 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 मैम को इंटीरियर सक्षम स्मार्ट यू टेल मैम को इंटीरियर एंगल को इंटीरियर एंगल बिकॉज़ दे आर ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसवर्सल एंड दे आर इंटीरियर एज़ वेल दैट्स व्हाई दे विल बी कॉल्ड को इंटीरियर एंगल्स दे आर को इंटीरियर एंगल्स एंड व्हाट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ को इंटीरियर एंगल्स को इंटीरियर एंगल की प्रॉपर्टी मैंने बताई थी एनीवन मैम को इंटीरियर एंगल्स आर ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसवर्सल एंड इन केस ऑफ पैरेलल लाइंस को इंटीरियर एंगल्स आर सप्लीमेंटरी वेरी गुड को इंटीरियर एंगल्स आर सप्लीमेंटरी दैट मींस z एंड 60 दे विल फॉर्म सप्लीमेंटरी पेयर ऑफ एंगल्स दैट मींस देयर सम इज 180 तो आप लिखोगे z एंड 60 आर को इंटीरियर एंगल्स therefore z plus 60 is equal to 180 co interior angles are always supplementary so z is equal to 180 minus 60 so z comes out to be 120 let us do the next part fifth part fifth part L and M are two parallel lines T is transversal L and M are two parallel lines T is transversal here is angle x and here is 120 degree they are on the same side of transversal this meet can you tell me what kind of angles they are this meet for This meet. Unmute yourself. This meet for. Yes, Akshara, you tell. Akshara. Ma'am, can I? Yes, Akshara, repeat it. Ma'am, corresponding. Corresponding angles. They are on the same side of transversal. It is lie above the line. It also lie above the line. A ki side pe ya to upper upper hoga ya fir niche niche. so we know that in case of moreover l and m are given to be parallel lines l is parallel to m this implies x is equal to 120 degree reason being corresponding angles reason being corresponding angles Sixth part. Sixth part is P and Q are parallel, and even L and M are parallel. P is parallel to Q. L is parallel to M. P is parallel to Q, and L is parallel to M. there are some angles this is a this is 60 degree this is b this is c and this is d a 60 degree b c and d we want to find the values of all the angles all a b c d we have to find out and you know both pair of lines are given to be parallel that is these two are parallel 
when these are parallel they will walk as transversal and when these are parallel these will walk transversal that means one side wali line ko parallel lenge to dusri side wali transversal ho jayegi idhar wali ko parallel lenge to idhar wali transversal abhi main thodi der ke liye itni figure ko rub kar le ma'am 60 and a corresponding 60 and a corresponding kaun bol raha hai Meet, you are giving wrong answer. Shubh, you tell. Shubh. I am co-interior angles. Co-interior angles, same side of transversal and interior. They are co-interior angles. Are you seeing? Do you find your mistake? Yes, ma'am. Co-interior angles. They are supplementary. So you will write P parallel to Q and L is transversal. So this implies a plus sixty, one eighty, four interior angles. So a is equal to one eighty minus sixty. So a comes out to be one twenty. Now, chale zara b c and d ki values ko dhoonne. So we are having this line here. It is B. It is C. It is D. B C D. Now you see. You see. I'm uh, removing this. I'm having only L and M and line Q. If I am looking at this A angle, I have find it right now. अभी मैंने find किया इसको ये बंद कर दो. These two lines are parallel, and this is transversal. Can anyone tell me what kind of angle A and C are forming? Raj Aryan. Same side है transversal की. एक ट्रांसवर्सल की राइट साइड पे एक लेफ्ट साइड पे कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग कैसे हो गए सॉरी सी के साथ इसका कोई रिलेशन नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज ये इंटीरियर है ये एक्सटीरियर है इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट ए एक्सटीरियर टू लुक एट डी ए एंड डी को एक्सटीरियर को एक्सटीरियर नो 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 मैम अल्टरनेट एक्सटीरियर एंगल अल्टरनेट एक्सटीरियर एंगल ए एंड डी दे आर फॉर्मिंग अल्टरनेट एक्सटीरियर एंगल एक तो बाहर बाहर है एक्सटीरियर हो गए एक बिल्कुल क्रॉस में है तो अल्टरनेट एक्सटीरियर सो वी विल राइट हियर एल पैरेलल टू एम क्यू इज ट्रांसवर्सल therefore a is equal to b alternate exterior angles so a we have find out 120 so d is also 120 this d it comes out to be 120 can anyone tell me the relation between this d and c d and c relation between d and c can anyone tell relation between d and c yes just when you tell this when ko they are pair they are forming linear pair they are sitting on a straight line shabash and what is the property of linear pair angle just when मैम कुछ जे शुड बी कम जे बोथ एंगल शुड बी ऑन ऑन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड देयर सम विल बी 180 देयर सम विल बी 180 वेरी गुड c plus c 180 रीजन बीइंग लीनियर पेयर सो रिप्लेस द वैल्यू ऑफ d c c 
60 degree. This C comes out to be 60. Can anyone tell me the relation between C and B? Ma'am, vertically opposite angle. Bilkul take two intersecting lines. These are vertically opposite angles. So you will write. B is equal to C, vertically opposite angles. As C is 60, so B will also be 60. Yes, Gaurish, what do you want to ask? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I have a doubt. Ma'am, as you have left A in 120 degrees, so ma'am, A and B can be able to find A and B like A and B linear form. So if we have 180 degrees... A and B, wait a minute, wait a minute. A and B linear form. मैम मतलब दोनों लाइक मैम फॉर्म बी फॉर्म तो कर रहा है लाइक 180 में से अगर मैं 120 माइनस करती हूँ मुझे ये बताओ ए एंड बी लिनियर पेर हैं मुझे सिर्फ एक बात नो मैम नो मैम मैम वो मैम विद लाइक वो ऊपर स्ट्रेट लाइन जा रही थी तो मुझे लगा वो लिनियर पेर है नो 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 स्ट्रेट लाइन के ऊपर Okay, okay ma'am. Shadi. Okay, ma'am. Come to exercise 5.2. Exercise 5.2. Exercise 5.2. Question number first. State the property that is used in the following. Let me make the figure first. A and B are parallel. There are two transversals. There are two transversals. Anji. One, two, three, four, five, six. First term, if A parallel to B, then angle 1 is equal to angle 5. If A parallel to B, then 1 is equal to 5. Which property? Anyone? Ma'am, corresponding. Ma'am, corresponding. Don't say that. Don't ask me to ask other children. Okay, ma'am. You see, 1 is equal to 5 on the same side of transversal and moreover uh, that is to above upper upper so on the same side of transversal when they are lying above on the side lines they are called corresponding angles. corresponding angles. so which property that in case of parallel lines corresponding angles are Equal. Equal. Pura lik ki aana hai paper mein. Which property in case of parallel lines corresponding angles are? Equal. Second. If 4 is equal to 6, then A parallel to B. 4 is equal to 6. This is 4. This is 6. Which angle is it? 4, 6. Ma'am, alternate interior angles. Alternate interior. You know what you're saying? This is alternate. This is alternate. Alternate interior angles. So, what property is satisfied here? That if alternate interior angles are equal, then the lines are going to be? Yeah. Parallel. Parallel. So, which property? If alternate interior angles are equal, then lines are parallel. If alternate interior angles are equal, then lines are parallel. Third part. Third part. 
if four plus five is equal to one eighty degree, then a parallel to b. Four plus five is one eighty. Then a parallel to b. This is four plus five. This is four. This is five. Which property? Four plus five one eighty. सप्लीमेंट्री देन लाइन आर कर इफ को इंटीरियर एंगल्स आर सप्लीमेंट्री then lines are parallel second question you will do yourself just identify the angles that you can do and i am going to start with question number 3 let us start with third question question number 3 In the given figure, P is parallel to Q. Find the unknown angles. There is a line P which is parallel to line Q. We want to find the unknown. we are given p parallel to q we want to find the unknowns can anyone tell me what is the relation between e and 125 aap batao bete e and 125 mam linear pair aapko kyun nahi pata chalta straight line pe baithe hue hain dono to linear pair hi honge sum kya hoga dono ka 180 कैन बी फाइंड एफ विद हेल्प ऑफ ई Yes, ma'am. What is the relation of D with one twenty five? Same side of transversal or line corresponding? Line over over it. Line corresponding. Line over it. What are they? Corresponding angles. And in case of parallel lines, corresponding angles are always equal. Equal. Right here. D is equal to one twenty five. corresponding angles these equal to 125 corresponding angles what do you can say about b mam vertically opposite mam vertically opposite angles p and d are vertically opposite angles opposite so you will write E is equal to D, vertically opposite angles. So this is one to two.
what you can say about this call will tell me what you can say about b and a raj aryan what do you can say about b and a बेटे ये मैंने प्रोटेक्टर बना दी नीचे लाइन आ गई दोनों का सम कितना होगा स्ट्रेट लाइन पे 180 एट्टी लीनियर पेयर क्यों हर बार बोल रहा है आपको लीनियर पेयर की पहचान ही नहीं हो पा रही मैम हम ए मैम हम ए फाइंड कर सकते हैं ई के थ्रू भी तो हम ए फाइंड कर सकते हैं क्योंकि वो कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स बना रहे हैं कौन कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग बना रहा है मैम corresponding angle so e was 55 so a is also 55 raj aryan you will tell me this a is 55 what you will say about c vertically opposite angles मैम ए और बी से भी ए बी से भी फाइंड कर सकते हैं कर सकते हो कर सकते हो राइट सी वर्टिकली ऑपोजिट दिस इज फिफ्टी फाइव सी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फाइव बी से सी भी फाइंड हो सकता है ना बी से हम सी लीनियर पेयर के थ्रू फाइंड कर सकते हैं लीनियर पेयर से हो सकता है बिल्कुल हो सकता है those who have just raised hand to tell me the answer please put your hand down jinhone sirf answer dene ke liye hand raise kiye hain wo hand down kar lo hanji just me uh, deva adgun adgun any problem yes adgun no ma'am no ma'am ma'am wo answer dene ke liye kya tha pehle then put your hand down चलिए लेट एस स्टार्ट ना फोर्थ क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट पार्ट आई एम स्टार्टिंग फोर्थ क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट पार्ट फोर्थ क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट पार्ट देर आर टू लाइन्स एल एंड एम विच आर पैरल एंड पी इज ट्रांसफर्सल This is hundred, or oh sorry, hundred and ten, and uh, this is x. Now see, we can't define any relation between one or uh, this one hundred ten and x. Reason: this is interior and this is exterior. हमने कोई relation नहीं ऐसा किया जिसमें एक interior हो एक exterior हो. या तो दोनों interior हो या दोनों exterior हो. तो इसका मतलब फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल फाइंड दिस एंगल ताकि ये जो एक्सटीरियर है वो हमारा इंटीरियर में आ जाए बट विल बी एंगल वन वन हंड्रेड टेन विच बी रीजन वर्टिकली ऑपोजिट सो एंगल वन इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड टेन वर्टिकली ऑपोजिट एंगल and what you can say about 1 and x aap batao please please don't talk 1 and x raj aryan bete kitni baar humne use kiya bolo bolo co interior angles so because they are co interior their sum will be co interior angles ka sum 180 kitni baar use kiya humne ले सकते थे मैम बिल्कुल सामने उसके एंगल वन यहाँ पे भी ले सकते थे हाँ जी एंगल वन 
x comes out to be 70. The same. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you, ma'am. X or angle one, ma'am. Uh, vertically opposite angle. If it's 110 or angle one, we write it down. हम वन रेटन के सामने बिल्कुल अगर आप वहीं यहाँ लिखते मैम नो मैम नीचे नीचे वहाँ यहाँ यस मैम वन हंड्रेड टेन के इक्वल थोड़ा हो जाएगा ये ऊपर है ये लाइन के नीचे कैसे इक्वल हो जाएंगे या तो दोनों लाइन के या तो दोनों लाइन के ऊपर ऊपर हो या नीचे नीचे ठीक है दिस इज़ ऑल अबाउट द टुडे